Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play. Welcome to the first episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Zop Age. Right, we I did a poll last week on the channel, whether or not you guys wanted a normal run or a modded challenge run, and the modded run won by a landslide. So, we are going to be starting on the Struggle for Freedom mod, Final Fantasy XII. It is a difficulty plus rebalancing mod that happened with different job systems, specific for each characters, and so on, more difficult enemies, weapons and armors with different stuff, different bazaar inventory, like a lot of differences. I've played a bit of this, so I know more or less what to expect. However, I never finished the game with it, so we are going to learn it all together. It will be a new, like a normal playthrough, of course, like my previous ones have been. Except with the other difficulty of the mod itself. This will be now be replacing the Final Fantasy X playthrough, which is still technically not finished. Dark Anima will eventually be uploaded if I ever to defeat it. Nemesis is... Being difficult, to be honest, I was not expecting it to be as hard as it was, so... Still, there is that episode left of Nemesis, but... It's been over a hundred tries and nothing... Like, I've not even come close to beating him, so... Just like Dark Anima, Nemesis will be uploaded whenever I defeat it. Now, with all that said, let's get started on Final Fantasy XII Struggle for Freedom. Let's go. In the name of the Father, and in the presence of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Far on. Stand little. Nabodis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. <sighs> Secure Nalbano with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side.
Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy. Blessings of the Great Father descend, and guide your bodies return to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Pharaoh. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Dalmaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalis. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria in the west. The invasion of the Kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon mete out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca 
ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca's surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbina Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. You there. Can you hear me? <coughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He fights to defend his homeland. Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <clears throat> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Vosla, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. Steady, Rex. <laughs> Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! Alright, we have control, finally. That was such a long cutscene. And I forgot to put subtitles on, so I have to fix that real quick. Let's just do a little tutorial here. I know how to play the game. Can I? I can't access the menu yet, so let's just approach Bart. Approach Bash, I mean, and we'll just take care of what we need to take care of. Sure, sure. Damn tutorials. I've played games before. Very good. Do I now have control of the game, please? Finally. Alright, let's speak about what we saw. So we saw oh, this. Here, this will work. So we saw a Empire, so we've got the gist of it, like this game is a war game. How can I put my subtitle? Where's the subtitle one? Oh, here they are. I was saying, as you can see, like this is a war game. 
Arcadia just invaded Dalmasca, Dalmasca's gone. Marriage took place, and marriage got dissolved. Now this game had a lot of potential, but unfortunately it also had a lot of issues mid uh, production. So the first half of the game, like it does a great job at setting up a story, but it never finishes it, unfortunately. Which is one of the biggest shames, honestly, in Final Fantasy, because the things that it's set up, they're great. Captain. But then it just gets rushed like 70% through. Which is unfortunate. Now, this is a struggle for freedom mod. I was just looking through the menus to see what we had different. It's not going to you're not gonna see a difference until you get access to the license board, so there might be some different abilities. That's I don't remember what we usually have, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do. Oh, well that's one thing. Fire damage inflicts oil. Why would I ever use Blizzard if fire exists? They have the same power? And I can oil. It's okay. Heal up. Okay, I actually had to heal up during this fight. That's pretty, pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Just burn the guy alive. Almost just die during mid tutorial. Also, one thing you can see, my MP is already gone. Say so already this game's actually harder. I'm impressed. Of course, still not a challenge. I say this after almost dying. Bit more of a challenge than usual, but I think that we couldn't handle. Let's see how we fare against. Yeah, they, al they already have more HP, but Bash still one shot him, so we don't really have to worry too much about it. Now this game by itself, like the if you play the normal version, the PS2 version of the game. You saw, you thought, okay, pretty challenging game. Unfortunately, the remaster is nothing of the sort. They made it so much easier. So hopefully this can recover the spirit of a challenging Final Fantasy game, which is something that we've been missing lately. There hasn't been a real difficult Final Fantasy game ever since the PS1 days, I guess. Honestly, or since Final Fantasy V. Six onwards, they've been kind of easy and pleasant. laughed in the face of death far too many times from to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. Vosla! not dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex! Nah, the king knew he was gonna die, so... Let's see, there are any... Chests that we can get? It's, it's been a couple of years since I've played this mod, so I don't know all the differences. There's a chest here. The potion, I'll take that, actually. Because MP is being sparse. I might not be able to use this active mode. I'm just so used to playing with active mode. I might also see some differences in clothing and the... Uh, Character models we because I equipped some mods. I installed some mods for mostly the character these. spaces. This I game will. already looks aged, unfortunately. There's no, no mod for the sound, so can't fix that. It's fire. Oh, okay, so that's why you use ice. Fire is not AoE, but ice is. Alright, so there's different... There's different... 
different things for different spells. Fire does support, Blizzard is AoE. We're also going to see me use this time to use the one. This game will take forever without it. Potion touch, just get everything we can. Can we still do the times 40? Yeah, we can. We can still just change it without going to the menu. I want times 2. And yes, I will use it for random encounters as well, or else we're never gonna move forward. I just I'm done, let's see if there was any chests that I might have missed. Does not appear to be. You guys can kill that guy. Don't need me. Nothing. Alright. If you want to die, just die. Let's get out of here. No point in fighting these guys. Low safe crystal. Before I touch you, anything? Here, you can still center the camera. Let's see, so you got 200 safe spots. That's more than enough. Safe. 19 minutes and most of them were cutscenes. Prepare for a lot of cutscenes in this game, by the way. It's gonna be movie time. Was I getting any XP? I don't know how much XP I was I got before. Intruders! Don't let them escape! Sir! We have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well. Yes, sir. Leave the, the recruit to take care of these guys. Uh, think. Oh, ice is. Yeah, ice is AoE, but it's way weaker. I'm already almost dead. Jesus. Heal up. Heal myself. One at a time. Okay, it does the same amount of damage. So I might as well just use Blizzard to get rid of all these. Also, let's kite them. Not really a lot of space for me to kite, though. So already having to heal. It's already kicking my ass now, isn't it? One and two. Get out. It's got a hell of a lot of displays before I die. Uh, nothing there. So thank god I got those two potions from the chest. If not, I would have most likely died. But we're done with this section. Intended all along to sell Damasca to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I. Seize the insurgent. Hello! <laughs> well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have 
are lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty, out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the Captain away. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Ravanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms, raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty, King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer, too, for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty, King Raminas, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. Let's meet Van, our main character of the game. So, Ash, or Mrs. Shelly, killed herself. Huh? We all know what happened. Wow, now, Vaughn, you got him all yourself. Unless, of course, if you're new to the something game, in that case, don't. Comes then along. Let's hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. But yeah, let's start our thrilling adventure. Let's kill some rats. That's enough for today. Oh, all you get back to success case. Aren't you some rats to go up in life. Oops. Easy as that. <laughs> totally forgot. Before I kill you, Mr. Rat, let me steal the rat belt. You should come, Vaughn. Always try to steal, because money if you don't steal in this game is... Might have some work for you to do, too. Part, so I've got always other, try to um, steal. work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? It doesn't cost if anything. If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Might as well. And die. Wow, Vaughn. You got them all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides.
What'd you say? Yes, uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I don't... What? Haven't paid? Oh, 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 second thought. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod be. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. What way you're going, churl? What? Oh, my patch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! It's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. <laughs> oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. <laughs> <laughs> 